Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your general love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And I do have a special going for you. It is a three question recorded video reading for 2222, or I have the one hour Zoom readings on sale for 5555. And everything that you'll need to know about scheduling either one of those is posted on the community page for you, or my email is in the description box below. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. We are taking a look at your general love message for Scorpio, please. The overall energy of the situation, we have the Page of Cups. So you guys could be dealing with somebody a little bit younger than you. You don't have to be. It could be a little bit of a younger water sign for some of you. Uh, for others of you, I just feel like this could be communication. This could be um, someone expressing some kind of interest in you, some kind of feeling for you here. Uh, it could be an apology as well. Or you could be, you could be the one that is uh, expressing something to a person. Your energy, we have the Ace of Swords. The energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, we have the Two of Pentacles. I kind of feel like you're the one that is expressing something here, Scorpio, with this Ace of Swords. And I'm not quite sure where somebody is where somebody is standing with it. Well, let's take a look at the challenge here. We have the five of pentacles. I'm gonna be honest with you, Scorpio, this is kind of feeling like this is for somebody who's already kind of de is already dealing with a person here, okay? Um because with this five of pentacles energy, Scorpio, I kind of feel like you feel like certain needs haven't been getting met lately or you're feeling like a lack of time, effort, energy, attention from a person, a lack of spark. And I definitely feel like, especially when she's got this sword, this sword raised up in the sky and there's like electricity coming from it. I feel like you're expressing to this person like what your needs are here, okay? And so some of you guys, you know, it may not be like a super serious conversation. You could just be, you know, being flirty or trying to kind of like rekindle that spark here. But for some of you guys, I just feel like it's because there's it's coming from this place of lack of not, you know, not getting what you need in the connection at this time. Now, with this Two of Pentacles energy, I feel like somebody just has a lot going on. I don't think it's deliberate here, Scorpio. You know, the Two of Pentacles can talk about trying really hard to balance like work, work life, home life, or just feeling like you have a lot on your plate that you're trying your best to manage. Okay. Um, so we'll get more into that in a minute. Let's take a look at... What is Scorpio's next action towards this person? What is Scorpio's next action towards this person, please? We have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're going to have a conversation. Because this is what it kind of feels like to me, Scorpio, where I feel like maybe at first you're just kind of flirty or you just try to uh, like spark something up here between the two of you or make some kind of plans. And I feel like this person is so focused on what they're trying to deal with. You can see she's staring at what she's got up in the air where it's almost like still not giving you the attention. It's like you're baiting the hook out and throwing it out, but you know, you're not getting a bite here. So I feel like it becomes a little bit more direct after that. Okay. I'm the queen of swords. I definitely feel like this is you like just having a very direct forward conversation here with a person. Now, what is this person's next action towards Scorpio? What is their next action towards Scorpio? We have the Queen of Pentacles. I actually really like that because um, the Queen of Pentacles to me is a card of putting time, effort, and energy into something, nurturing something here. Now, this person could have a business uh, or just a career that they're really focused on. It is Capricorn energy. They are definitely like the workhorses, right? Um, but it can also talk about like their resources and things like that. This person could have just a lot of things in the physical world that they're trying to put their energy in. But with this conversation, I feel like somebody does make a special effort to put, to like nurture this with you, to put more time in, to put more effort in. What's the potential outcome here? 
king of the moon. We're going to get one more for that. And we have the king of swords. What's the advice? We have the death energy. And the king of wands. The death card is not feeling like an ending, but it is feeling like change, okay? Um, even here, like, you can see, like, this is holding on by a, there's this big rope here. It's, like, barely hanging on. You get, like, you could feel like the connection's, like, barely hanging on here, um, and it's requiring some kind of action. But even here, you know, he has this whole, like, map out. He's planning his action, right? So it's not just rushing in and, you know, I feel like Spirit is saying, don't just rush in and end something here, you know? Um, come up with a plan with this person of, okay, I know that you have a lot going on right now. How can I maybe help with this? Or how can we how can we find some balance? How can we make some time? Um, even the King of Swords is somebody who's like, you know, a little bit head over heart. So it's like trying to put the feelings aside for a second and like come up with some kind of like logical solution or plan for how you guys can overcome this together. I feel like this is very... Um, like, this is a really good example of, instead of it being like you versus them, it's you guys versus the problem, okay? And I feel like this could be a really good example of that, of, you know, how can, this is the issue. You have a lot going on. My needs aren't being met. How can we come together to kind of find some kind of solution? How can we do this together, you know, as a team here? And I feel like if you guys can do that, I definitely feel like there's potential for this here. Um but I do feel like there is going to be a need to be more, um, maybe more head over heart in this situation. And but there is a need for um, you know compassion and understanding too. So there's not, you know, there's a still a place for that uh, emotional energy. But it's also like let's come up with a plan. Let's come up with a plan to take some action so that we can nurture this, so that we can make time for this. So. The signs that I'm seeing for you, I see all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then I see Capricorn, Taurus. So you pretty much have everything here except for Virgo, but you know what? It is a general reading, so even if it is a Virgo here, this reading can definitely still resonate for you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But as this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.